New developments involving Navy ships made in Mobile. The shipbuilder Austell finds itself in the middle of controversy this week involving the LCS program. The commissioning of the USS Jackson has sparked outrage from certain groups who don't like the name. And a financial issue has also cropped up for the company. With more, here's News 5's Chad Petrie. Work continues at Austell with ships planned for the foreseeable future. Last year, the Navy announced it would add more armor and weapons to the LCS and turn it into a frigate, addressing concerns it was underpowered and outgunned. They do what a frigate does, and they're, they're bigger, they're faster uh, than, than most frigates are, that are out there today and that have been out there historically. But those changes won't happen until 2019. Last Saturday capped a good weekend for Austell with the commissioning of the USS Jackson in Gulfport. But this was a bad week for the company as a whole. In Australia, the company's CEO announced a lower profit warning because they said the LCS program wasn't maturing at an expected rate. Austell stock losing more than a third of its value. Also, some strangely timed criticism of the USS Jackson. Connecticut's NAACP president and an official with the Cherokee Nation slammed the name, saying the government should not promote President Andrew Jackson, a slave owner who started the forced migration of Cherokee Indians. The ship is named for the capital of Mississippi. Uh, today's commissioning of the United States ship, or USS Jackson, is a permanent mark on the timeline of Jackson, Mississippi's history. Jackson's mayor is black and praised the ship. The name was picked by the Secretary of the Navy more than five years ago. In Mobile, Chad Petrie, News 5.